First Peter chapter 3 verse 18 For Christ also as was so far for sins he didn't commit any sin it's for the sin you committed he suffered and we're talking about his suffering so that he can secure habitation for you in heaven it says for christ also as one suffered for our sins the just for the unjust that he might bring us to god and being put to death in the flesh and quaking by the spirit he suffered and he did that for you first peter chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 1 first peter chapter 4 verse 1 for as much then as christ has suffered for us in the flesh it tells us over and over christ has suffered for us in the flesh and yourselves equip yourself gird yourself close yourself harness yourself and yourselves likewise with the same mind for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin has taught sinning that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the loss of men but to the will of God in first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 the reason why Christ suffered for us to give you a place in heaven habitation in heaven first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead look at this to an inheritance to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fadeth not away tell me tell me tell me research in heaven for you are you going there I said are you going there when you get there you'll find the Lord has been waiting for you and has reserved he has reserved an inheritance that will not fade away he has reserved it for you in Jesus name who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time and actually what it does is it starts by writing your name in the register in the book of life in heaven and then thereafter it stays by you it stands by you protecting you preserving you and giving you every encouragement you need and giving you every grace you need and making everything sufficient for you so that as your name is there you will also go there eventually and you will answer when your name is called and when your name is called over there you'll be there to answer in jesus name luke chapter 10 i'm reading from verse 20 Luke chapter 10 verse 20 Notwithstanding in this rejoice not That the spirits are subject unto you But rather rejoice Because your names are reaching in heaven and You know there are some people They have not read all through their Bibles And they say that those who were alive When Jesus was alive Before he went to die on the cross of Calvary They said that you know None of them was born again and he said that on the day of Pentecost Pentecost came and they were born again look at this he's talking to the 70 he was still on earth with them and he says rejoice not because the spirits are subject unto you but rejoice rejoice rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven that heaven thank God you'll be there I say thank God you'll be there that's why Jesus has gone and you are going to follow. I said that's why Je where Jesus has gone and you are going to follow. Where is Jesus now? I said where is Jesus now? Look at Luke chapter 24 verse 51. Luke chapter 24 verse 51. And it came to pass while he blessed them he was departed from them 
and carried up into heaven carried up into heaven acts of the apostles records that you acts chapter 1 reading from verse 9 acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had those when he had spoken these things what they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven they same jesus our savior they same jesus as substitute they same jesus as sacrifice they same jesus as sanctifier they same jesus our shepherd which is taken up from you into heaven into heaven shall so come in like manner as he have seen him go into heaven and it says where he is there you are going to be i said there you are going to be i can't hear your amen you'll be there in jesus name 